So it's been said that you don't truly own a niche fragrance until you own a Serge Luton. So let's go ahead and review Bath Team Defoe and actually find out if that statement is true. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. But that is correct guys, we're gonna be reviewing Serge Luton's Bath Team Defoe. Now, it actually surprised me because this is sort of like a hidden gem within the uh, Serge Luton's fragrance line. It's not spoke about at all by many people. There's not many videos about this fragrance, not many reviews, nothing. And it just surprises me because this is, when you look at the note breakdown of this, and um, it's absolutely one of the most unique fragrances I've ever came across. I mean, what other fragrance have you guys come across that contains the note of gunpowder? I mean, when I saw that, that just absolutely piqued my interest because I kind of do enjoy the um, the smell of like fresh gunpowder after shooting um, after shooting a gun. You get that smell from the, uh, the dust and stuff in the air. I kind of enjoy that. So this one definitely piqued my interest. It's very, very unique, very different. And also look at the color of that juice very dark so obviously you're gonna expect a dark smoky gunpowdery fragrance with this one but it does have some other notes we'll discuss later on in the video but let's go over some information about this one <clears throat> so the perfumer behind this is actually christopher uh sheldrick i've heard of that perfumer's name before but i can't recall other fragrances he's made but i'm definitely curious if he made this i want to check out some other of his creations but this fragrance was launched in 2016, so it's not that old. Um, I don't know when Serge Luton's as a house came about, but yeah, 2016 was launch date. As far as retail goes, you can pick up a 50 ml bottle for $150 and a 100 ml bottle like this one I have here for $230. Now I know Serge Luton's actually goes on discount quite a few, like quite a lot actually. I heard um, this month or this year, Serge Luton's have been hitting the rack stores, it's like TG Maxx, and stuff like that. I actually tried to look for some. I could, I came up with a loss, couldn't find any, so I would have snagged them all, trust me, because Serge Tons, this is truly a good niche house. But like I said in the intro, we'll find out if this actually uh, pretty much stands the statement of being a, a, a real, like the best niche house, such as the, the statement I said. So let's go ahead and go over the uh, packaging and presentation now. So the notes are tangerine, gingerbread, woody notes, castorium, gunpowder, and osmansis. So there isn't actually like a top, middle, or base notes listed. It's kind of just a whole bunch of notes. So let's see, let's go ahead and spray this one and see what I get on the initial opening. I'll tell you guys how this smells to me when I've worn it quite a few times since owning it. So let's go ahead and test the atomizer here and see what we get. Decent atomizer. And it is very potent juice, like I said, as you can see, purple, dark purple, dense juice there. And it did stain the atomizer, the test strip a little bit. So, all right, I do smell it in there. Let's see here. Very different, very unique. So in the opening, you're actually gonna get that citrus tangerine. <clears throat> now tangerine to me comes across very like bitter, Almost like a uh, orange pill kind of thing. That's what I get with this. I'm honestly not a huge fan of tangerine. I much prefer like uh, much prefer like mandarin stuff like that. Tangerine is always more bitter to me. But you do get quite a bit of um, quite a bit of it in the opening. But alongside that, what makes it very unique? You have that gingerbread cookie note. Now gingerbread cookie, obviously you think of like holidays. This is actually a good holiday fragrance. It does remind me of like holiday season. You can definitely rock this one for like Christmas. It does give me like Christmas vibes as well. In the opening at least, it, de it does change as it dries down. So if you wear this one and go into a Christmas party, spray it on, 
in the car before you arrive if you want if you want to get that vibe because trust me this is a complex fragrance and it's going to change from the top middle and dry down but yeah in the top i do get the gingerbread cookie i get the tangerine <clears throat> now as it dries down it becomes very like dirty animalic you have that castorium which of course is an animalic note and then you have that gunpowder now gunpowder like i said that intrigued me so much with this fragrance and i want more people to actually smell this one and add this add this to their collection because this is a hidden gem guys like i said i love the note of gunpowder i don't know any other fragrances that feature it maybe you guys know let me know down below i'm sure there is it probably says not the only one but this is good obviously it's gonna dry down the animalic woody and you have that gunpowder note and it's kind of odd, like uh, it's kind of gourmand from a gingerbread, the tangerine, but not much, but it's a very odd mixture. You have gunpowder and you have gingerbread cookies. It's like gingerbread cookies is like very innocent, kind of like a, like a thing. Kids make gingerbread cookies, things like that. And then you have this dark kind of gunpowder note in there. So it's mixed very, very well, very smoky. Yeah, best way to describe this is smoky guys dark and smoky from that and it actually does smell like you're at like a shooting range if you've ever been to like um an indoor shooting range you get that vibe with this fragrance and the dry down doesn't take that long to happen that's why i said spray this one in the car when you arrive to the christmas party if you want to get that christmas party vibe because you do get that in the opening but it changes very quick within like two hours i would say yeah very nice. So as far as seasons go, hmm. yeah, like I said, you get Christmas vibes. It's very dark, dense, smoky, woody. Obviously you're gonna wanna stick to winter and fall. This actually would work really well in the fall as well. Um, but yeah, it definitely reminds me of like a fall time fragrance too. This just reminds me of so many different things because like I said, it's very complex. It's definitely niche quality, 100%. <clears throat> the way it's blended is to perfection with this. Now, this is actually the only Serge Luton's I own. There's many I've looked into, and many I want to add to my collection, just haven't came across um, any as of yet. But will for sure during 2022, I'll definitely add some more Serge Luton's to my collection. Worthy 100% as being a niche fragrance. Yeah, so seasons, fall and winter, stay away from the spring and summer. Uh, maybe spring, actually. Spring might work um, if you're going to like a shooting range in the spring. Yeah, you could definitely rock this one in the spring for that occasion. If you shoot guns, things like that, or hunting, never mind, scratch that. Do not wear this hunting because you want to be scentless when you're hunting. You'll definitely scare away like deers and stuff like that. But wear it to the shooting range, wear it in the fall and winter. Definitely do not wear this on a date, anything like that. Stay away from that. Um, it is sort of a casual fragrance, not really that formal, but casual in a different way. I mean, you wouldn't really want to wear this one to work. Wouldn't really want to wear this one on a date. Like I said, maybe to a Christmas party, maybe to a shooting range, you're gonna to want to rock this one. Or if you just love fragrances and you just don't even care, rock this whenever you want. Go ahead. Now, as far as performance goes, it's very strong. Yeah, absolutely stunning performance from this one. Easily lasts you all day. Um, yeah, definitely lasts you all day. It doesn't really last until the next day. It's not that strong of a fragrance, but Easily, you do not have to worry about it. You do not have to worry about reapplying or taking it with you or decaying into like a travel atomizer. This will last you all day. Projects easily for the first four hours. Strong projection. People will smell you when you walk by. And the Siaz is fantastic with Batine de Faux. <clears throat> and if you guys don't know what Batine de Faux means, I found out what it meant after getting it. I'm not a huge fan of the meaning. It actually means uh, baptized by fire. <clears throat> So when you think of that, you're gonna think this is a dark, evil, smoky, fiery fragrance, which it is, that's how it comes across. But yeah, besides that, it is well done, very good. And it's right on my alley. I do enjoy uh, darker, animalic, smoky fragrances. So this one is a hit in my collection. I've worn it quite a few times. Um, haven't really put that much of a dent into it because like I said, it's not a weak fragrance. It is, I believe, an eau de parfum concentration. 
yeah, it's an EDP concentration, so you're good. And like I said, be careful. If you spray this stuff on clothes, especially like a white t-shirt, your white t-shirt's gonna have purple stains. I'm telling you right now, that's how dark and dense this juice is. So be careful of that. I do wanna let you guys know. I don't really spray on clothes personally that much. Sometimes I'll do an extra couple of squirts on my clothes, but mostly I do it on skin, just because I love the way it develops on my skin and it changes. Now, when you spray it on a test strip or even smell it out of the atomizer, it's always gonna smell the same. So definitely test it out on your skin and see if you enjoy it. Now, I did actually blind buy this one just because of the notes. Like I said, it didn't trade me the gunpowder, the mixture, castorium, gingerbread cookie. It was like a very weird, very weird note breakdown, but yeah, great fragrance. Definitely masculine, definitely mature. Do not wear this one if you're in high school or even college probably. Um, yeah, definitely stay away from that kind of scenario. You might get kicked out of the classroom, just letting you know that now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for my review. Let me know if you've tried Baptiste Defoe or actually recommend me any other Serge Luton's that you guys enjoy or you think is the best from the house. I definitely wanna dive more into the house, but leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe also if you haven't already, and I'll catch all you guys in the next fragrance upload. Take care, everybody.